you know, it takes a lot of emotional maturity and self-awareness to know when you should be quiet. Because in our normal interactions, our ego is so much at play and our ego wants to prove a point and our ego wants to be right and we want to always have the final say. So to be able to understand that there are certain situations that require you to be quiet, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of emotional maturity. Now, before you say anything, I need you to ask yourself something. Is it true? Is it right? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Tame your mouth to be silent when whatever you have to say can't destroy a friendship. Remember, you don't have to keep throwing stones at every barking dog. It's not everything that requires you to have a say. It's not everything that requires you to have, you know, um, an input. If it will destroy a friendship, please just stay quiet. Number two, be silent in the heat of anger. Especially now that you know, and I'm sure that you know, that anger is just an, a tip of the iceberg, that there are so many things that you're harboring inside. You could be harboring fear. You could be harboring resentment. You could be har harboring um, anxiety and all that. And it all manifests in, you know, in, in anger. And your reaction to something could be a bigger reaction as opposed to, to the event that has happened, all right? Because you have completely misinterpreted and you have retriggered and you have opened the Pandora boxes and you have touched on all the unresolved issues. So at that point, in the heat of anger, when you feel like you just want to burst open and the, let let the world know your true colors, press the post button, don't say a word. Be silent if your words can offend someone. I know. I know sometimes we say it's in the heat of the moment. I know sometimes we say you are not even thinking when you said it. And sometimes you say, you know, like, you know, it was not on purpose that you said what it is that you said. But if you know that your words can offend someone, please be silent. Be silent because you might say sorry afterwards, but the damage has already been done. So it's better to avoid having to apologize and having to start convincing someone that you had not actually premeditated, you know insulting someone or hurting their feelings. Be silent if you don't know the full story. Yes, I know, we want to act like we have it all figured out. We want to act like, you know, we understand what happened and we understand the full dynamics. If you don't know the full story, just be quiet. It will cost you nothing. Be silent if you can't talk without yelling. Now, this is something I struggled with for a long time, for a long, long time, because I did not know, especially when triggered, I did not know how to have a decent conversation and everybody would know that I was upset. And you know, yelling is a form of a tantrum. It's a form of an adult tantrum. So if you feel like you cannot have a decent conversation, like all you want to do is yell, can you take a pillow and scream in it or go in the bathroom and scream or go in the forest and scream, you know? But just don't scream at that moment in time because whatever words you're going to yell, you may not be able to take, not not even that. You will not even be able to take them back. The harm will already be done. Be silent if if your silence can save bones. Yes. If you know that your silence will maintain some sanity, will help people just mend whatever issue that they have, or will help you and your partner, you and your friend, you and your parent to mend the, the, the issue that is at hand, go silent. It will cost it will not it, it will cost you nothing to just be silent and salvage salvage the situation at hand. Let me know what you think. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.